I've actually been working on a project where we're going to talk about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu references in pop culture, movies, television, books, music, etc. Last night we got the unfortunate news that Chadwick Boseman, star of such films as Black Panther, he played Jackie Robinson, he played James Brown, passed away of colon cancer at the age of 43. Uh, this is a huge tragedy. He seemed like a great guy from all the tributes that are rolling in. He's obviously inspired a lot of people. Seemed like I had a huge body of work ahead of him. Um, I'm a big comic book fan myself. Uh, you can see, like, a lot of times you'll see me wearing shirts like this. Uh, the name Heroes Martial Arts was more of a reference to comic books than anything else. So um, we're definitely mourning his passing. So as a bit of a tribute, the first reference we're going to do is going to be talking about the Black Panther and some jiu-jitsu scenes there. Rest in power, Chadwick. Black Panther was a 2018 film as part of the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe based on the comic created in 1966 by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. The movie grossed over $1.3 billion and was praised not only for its entertainment value but for its depiction of the fictional African country of Wakanda as being the most advanced and progressive in the world. Early on in the movie we have a fight of succession between the main character T'Challa against rival Mbaku. Fights start off with weapons but as the characters are disarmed we are treated to this nifty sequence. While jiu-jitsu people tend to get excited when we see any grappling in pop culture, jiu-jitsu is actually an important plot tool in this sequence as T'Challa forces his rival Mbako to submit, thus legitimizing his claim to the crown. But if we scrutinize this scene, how well does it hold up in the jiu-jitsu lens? First of all, let's take a look at T'Challa's entry as he catches Mbaku in the submission. Now this is actually a plausible move right now, if not high percentage, but looks great on film and I can understand why they did this. Next, let's take a look at the submission hold itself, where we have T'Challa applying a reverse triangle choke, or sometimes known as a Senkaku Jimi, to his opponent Mbaku. While this move looks good on film, it's actually not all that effective as a submission hold. The leverage isn't quite there to hit an arm lock or a hyperextension of the elbow, while at the same time the position of the legs aren't squashing both sides of the carotid artery to get an effective strangulation hold. Furthermore, the position of T'Challa's right foot tucked underneath his left knee, holding an opponent as strong as Mbaku, would possibly cause him to break his ankle holding onto this. While the correct application of the submission hold would see T'Challa leaning forward and possibly even trying to grab Mumbaku's leg, the cinematic choice to depict the hold like this is understandable as the ability to view the face of both combatants heightens the drama. So how do we rate Black Panther from the Jiu Jitsu perspective? Technical accuracy, six. The entry point to the submission was good, but the hold was incomplete from a technical standpoint, although probably the correct way to depict it dramatically. For martial arts spirit, 8. Martial arts combat is a big part of what makes Black Panther who he is, but also the depiction of ritual, code, and honor is as important as well, if not explicitly stated as much. For benefit to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, 4. While this movie is inspiring in a lot of ways, it's not going to contribute to a rush of people joining jiu-jitsu students. Although a very small but important plot point in the story, we do appreciate the positive description of grappling. Finally, overall enjoyment of the movie and recommendation? 9. This ranks as one of the most acclaimed Marvel Universe movies, and it's a personal favorite. Even if you're not into the extended Marvel storyline, this movie is a lot of fun to watch on its own. So that's the Jiu Jitsu take on Black Panther. Agree with our assessment? Be sure to comment, like, and share our video. And for more great content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel.